Good evening, and welcome once again to the Living World of Darkness. Well, Natalia and Max have gone off. They've taken a little bit of a break. And at the moment, they're heading out. Not really... Not really knowing where they're going. They're heading probably in the direction of Natalia's business. And, um, yeah. Um, they'll probably actually they'll probably go there. And currently they're they're inside the spa in one of the back rooms. Max seems extremely calm. He is there and he is being like silent. He contemplates. Hmm. So um yeah, you you will see. Um, you actually see two new uh, girls that seem <laughs> to be working there. Kind of checks out the girls. Oh yeah. If you didn't know better, you would say that there's a business reason that Natalia seems to be hiring fairly attractive women. That hasn't stopped. You have new women here. Yeah, they seem they seem attractive. They will pull customers. Yeah, it never hurts business to have hot chicks around. So it's good to see you again. It's good to good to have you back. He holds her hand and he says, I'm glad to be back. I had some personal things I need to handle. In my absence, how were the things? Well, my sire came for me. Okay. I was hiring the two new people when I was warned by, well, it was a bird that talked to me, but I don't know what it was, but yeah, whatever it was, it was accurate with the information. Yeah. But managed to get a gun real quick and me, Rose, and together we fucking uh, ambushed them in an alley and beat the fucking shit out of them. Well, okay. his friends, his fucking entourage Little thing here and little thing there. I jumped him. I gave him the kiss and, well, it worked. And I drank. And you drink more and more and more. I should want to stop. I should not want to kill him. But every part of me wanted to kill him. I would, he took so much from me, did horrifying things to me for quite some time. But the most fucked up things I can imagine, so I took all of it back. Fuck him. I think you try to tell yourself that it is right, because you think it's wrong. But you want to believe that it is justified that all he does, all he did. Justifies this action. You killed him and massacred his soul. 
Yeah. He does not exist anymore. And why you try to justify yourself? Aren't you more powerful now? What did I actually just say to you? I don't know. I said I knew I wanted to do it, and I wound up doing it. Does that sound then, like justification or anything else to you? But then you said that for all you did, I think he deserved it, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to justify this. We need to survive. We are war dogs. We kind of need to survive in a people who draw blades when we f argue. Yeah, I did yell at him, but I didn't pull him a knife. Right. And I'm... Um, there is no... need for justification. You did what you did, and I'm proud of you. She kind of just strong. kind of just frowns a little bit. You cloud I, me. I am. Fuck. You're, you're a survivor now. You were a survivor. You're a better survivor now. I think that's something to be proud of, especially if it's my girlfriend. Well, I honestly don't know what to do. If you want someone to tell you that is something that what you did is wrong, go to Rebecca. And she's gonna make you feel bad about it. If you tell her what you did. Which I'm gonna tell you, don't tell her. She already knows a lot. I'm not going to fucking tell her. I'm, I'm telling you because, well, you kind of insinuated you already knew. And I was going to tell you. The problem is we didn't I didn't have a chance to tell you until now, so the I want to kill my sire as well. And I'll help you. Thank you. No problem. The I think let me ask you this, is it is it gonna give you anything more? What you did, like did you get any benefits out of it? Do you mean benefits? I don't I don't know. Like, maybe you are stronger, maybe you're tougher now. Perhaps. I mean, I can't... I don't... I don't know. Come on, you wouldn't know. Maybe you do something, you, you know you can do something that you know you didn't knew you can do in the past. Well... Well, I can do something I couldn't do before. What's that? The wound I got? Yeah. It was gone almost instantaneously when I started. So fortitude? No. I was told enough by my sire. I know what I did, and I know what happened. I am the tenth. I was the tenth generation. I was taught of reciting all the fucking line, right? Ah, you're higher up in the food chain now. I think so. My dear friend and lover, you know that's gonna help you. 
survive better in the fours now. Not a lot of people will be able to dominate you. And part of me is really happy about it, and part of me is freaked about it. Freaked and don't, about don't even, don't even say you're proud of me, and I shouldn't be free. Like, I deal with it my way. Proud? <laughs> Why you are weird about this? Because it's a fucked up thing to do, regardless. So what? People do fucked up things all the time. It's not the first time you killed someone. Yeah, but fuck me, dude. You know the beast is there. Like, no, well, what's the difference between pulling a gun on someone and saying what you did? The difference is it makes you strong. The difference is that... It's... Literally nothing. Literally nothing. The beast enjoys when you kill. Beast enjoys when you drink someone. Yeah, it's a bad thing to do, but we do bad things all the time. I'm sure the priest told you that marriage before sex is bad, but we do it all the time. Fuck the priests. Yeah, and fuck your sire who tells you it's a bad thing to do. Never th not everything the beast enjoys is bad. A Can cow. we talk about something else? <sighs> I'm just putting it out there. Only if you promise that you're not going to talk about this with Rebecca. Of course I'm not going to. Wait, do, do I look like an idiot? No, but you need you needed friends in the past. And she knew a lot about vampires. And you're the only vampire who I know that who know she talks. Who she talked. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk to her about this. Of course not. As much as you want to keep this as a pure and a nice way, we are at war, and anger, hatred, and fear is the weapons of war and the tool of the leaders. And you hey, are a leader. You should know by now. I'm not averse to fighting. But you're worse at social things. And but, you can use anger, hatred, and fear. Yeah, but fighting, taking the fight to the enemy, making them hurt, that's not something I shy away from, you know that. I just do it differently than you do. I, fight, we... fight, I fought against people I hate. And that's, I mean, fuck me, that was the way I got into this life in the first place. Fighting in my way is what got me embraced. But don't worry, I'm not adverse to it. So not too long from now, I'm going to have two new ghouls. You just saw them, commented on. Yeah. This means that I'm going to have to, well, start having a herd. Which means... I'm going to have to start doing things I really don't want to, but... Like what? I'm going to have to hang, hang around people I really don't like. Look, I, this is really not, when did your sire get in contact with you or let you know that he was? Weeks ago, we were in a bar, he came, he talked shit and he left, just like I do, time to time. Hmm. He was a little bitch, but well. I hope he will be a little bitch when I kill him as well. Another tough one. 
Well. Don't worry. We'll get them. Yeah. By the way, when Alex and you was around, uh, there's a thing we need to do. What? Uh, it's nothing major, just a little thing. I need someone to witness it. Yes, just take a couple of pictures. That's, that's really nothing. Of who? Of myself. But you know what? We can fuck. We can do it now. What type of pictures? It's just uh, good pictures. It's fine. Flash photography. It's going to be dark. Uh, kind of. So, what are you going to do with the photos? Uh, it's just a memento, you know, to have it's really nothing. It's a personal thing. I mean, you're lying and you're not telling me and you're hiding it, so I need to ask you what the fuck are you going to do with those because we can there do is it now. nothing special. What are you going to do with do the photos? Now. You're not telling me anything. You're you're just going to take some pictures of me doing something so that I have a picture of it to remember and keep me, you know, remembering that moment. That's it. Okay. He kind of um, she'll, she'll go over and uh, grab a plastic, like a plastic bag from a supermarket or something. Mm -hmm. That's like there's a there's a there's clearly something in it, and she's found a um, uh, she's found a, a knot on it, so it doesn't get out. She'll just say, "Want to do it right now? We can do it right now." Okay. And the two of them will leave, and they will go in a motorcycle. And she'll have a helmet for him. And a drive. They will begin to drive. You know, you drive for a while. You drive um, around, like, to New Jersey or something. Um, a bit ways out of the city. And you're getting into some industrial area. Mm -hmm. And when you stop the bike, the first thing that you notice is that you take your helmet off is the smell here is horrible. It smells like shit, literally. What are we doing here, Natalia? I'm just going to uh, take care of one little uh, detail and... And you're just going to, uh, you know, take a couple of pictures. Okay. I'm just going to return someone to where they belong. And um, you will walk for a little while. Um, you begin to get a sense of where the smell is coming from. There is, it's, this is a, a sewer treatment plant. So it's essentially sewage that's running beneath you. Mm -hmm. He understands what she's going to do, and he's watching it with a smile. And uh, she'll open the bag, and she'll just say, okay, let's go. Yeah, I think you will put the ashes. She is, she's, uh, she will just begin to spread the ashes uh, into the sewage of her sire. And um, she's trying to hide a smile as she's doing it. And... Um, Pictures are being taken. As she stands there, she just looks down, looks at the sewage, probably where the ashes have landed as they're being carried away slowly. She just stands there. She takes out a cigarette and begins to smoke. He also smokes. Something that smells that bad and looks that awful. This is actually pretty beautiful. <laughs> See, nothing sinister. Just needed to make sure I have momentum of this this moment. I understand. I hope I will have the same momentum. Hey, we can make this a recurring thing. Don't worry. And she will take the butt of the cigarette and flick it in uh, the sewage, she'll just say. All right. Is there uh, anywhere you want to go? 
I'm quite fine. I don't know where to go. I'm, I don't know. I'm so fucking calm today. Yeah, I think our new friend was quite worried that you were going to explode and bad things were about to happen. Okay. So I think she um, helped you calm down. How? Dominate? No. I don't know. Apparently it seems, well, she said it was something that she did because she smelled heavy. Okay. Discipline? Uh, I guess. Yeah, I was yeah. going to break it to you and I knew how you might feel about it, but she was generally terrified that something bad was going to happen. And honestly, maybe she's not used to, like, maybe she's not cut out for, like, massive emotional outbursts like that. So, I mean, go easy on her. She's just, you know, it's... I'm not going to do anything. I'm so fucking calm. Yeah, I can tell. All right, get on. She gets on the motorbike again, or motorcycle. Let's go. And the two of them will uh, probably ride back into town. And mm -hmm. probably hit up a bar or something. Um, Will that be the moment of the end of our scene? That it is. Have a very good evening. Thank you very much, players, for playing. Watch for watch. Good night.